our channel today our topic is electronic devices we will discuss about active and passive components we are using so many electronic devices nowadays which are loaded with all the features like mobile phones laptops TVs these devices may seem small in size yet it delivers a lot and can be used for so many applications by applications I mean both the software and hardware the best example that we all can relate is a smartphone it is surprising that less than a centimeter thick as small as our palm device can do this much if you look at hardware it is packed with an average of one day battery backup on a single charge it will have a high resolution vibrant screen with controlled brightness speakers with controllable volume fingerprint sensors and whatnot and how can we forget about camera this all we see when we use it but to achieve this there are millions of components there are millions of transistors used in the circuit today we will discuss every basic electronic component category that are used in the circuits of not only a smartphone but you can name any circuit from small to a large scale the electronic components can be classified into active component or a passive component it is easy to understand the difference between these both by their name itself first we will discuss about active component active components deliver power or energy to the circuit these are the devices which produce energy in the form of voltage or current active components can control the flow of current they require external source for their operation so they are energy donor in the circuits example of active components are transistors and SCRs you may not be aware of these two components but there is one component that you might be heard of that is IC which is integrated circuit now if you relate the points which I said with IC you will understand what exactly is the purpose of active component ICs are used to process the signal it drives the logic as I said active components are the one which control the flow of current if you notice not all but most of the active components have more than two terminal as one acts as input second as output and one terminal to control the flow of current active components are placed in a circuit to control the flow to control the direction of the current to achieve the desired output to utilize the power or energy in the circuit we use passive components these are the devices which stores energy in the form of voltage or current passive components cannot control the flow of current they do not require any external source for their operation so they are energy acceptors in the circuits example of passive components are resistor capacitor and inductor most of the passive components are only having two terminals as it does not control the flow of current passive component uses the power delivered by active components to produce the desired output so I think now we all understood the difference between active components and passive components now to summarize it we can say as the active components control the flow of current they are energy donor they don't they do require external power supply and passive components are energy acceptors they do not control the flow of current they do not require any external power source now if you see this example in your smartphone for example your smartphone may have an IC that is an active component because it is the thing which drives the logic right and if we are talking about passive component we can say as LED that we use for our display any output thing that we use for our display even the speakers and sometimes even camera are the passive component so in our next video we will discuss these things in further detail please let us know if you want any topic regarding this or anything in this video which should be explained in more detail comment us out we have series on microcontrollers and even mobile communication and if you require anything apart from this please let us know and do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to our channel thank you